Chef Paul Dupre. I'm the owner and chef of Elsie's Plate and Pie. Elsie's Plate and Pie is a, we're still a fairly new restaurant in Mid City Baton Rouge. Uh, we opened in September. We're serving up sweet and savory pies to the Baton Rouge area. Our focus is Cajun food and we're trying to put our own little spin on that. The journey really started almost two years before we opened. You know, it's every chef's dream to, of course, do your own thing, your own way. Um, I've been doing it for other people for, you know, almost 20 years. and. We finally just decided that the time was right to move on our dreams. Mid-City, and particularly Government Street, has been going through a lot of changes lately and becoming uh, something different than maybe it was 10 years ago. Um, and it's still undergoing those changes. My wife and I, we actually live just a few blocks away from the restaurant. So this is very much an investment in our own neighborhood, not just uh, where do we think would be a successful location. Our menu uh, is fairly large, but it, it kind of focuses, of course, on the pies, but also just on Louisiana-style cooking. So, you know, one of our big sellers is chicken pot pie, but we try to do a very uh, Louisiana-inspired chicken pot pie. So ours, you know, it has roasted peppers and tasso, we smoke chicken in it and we try to put, you know, some of those flavors that everybody loves and um, people often ask me uh, what my favorites are and a lot of times I just tell people it's kind of like picking, you know, your, your kids, uh, <laughs> you, you have to love them all. And when my wife and I were developing the menu, our mindset was to have every single thing on the menu uh, something that we would enjoy eating. Elsie. My grandmother, uh, she taught me to make pies, and she was a, a fantastic cook, but even beyond that, and really before that, she was a teacher. Um, she was literally a school teacher, but then, you know, she taught, you know, numerous people in the, in the family to cook different dishes and to do different things, you know. My, my grandparents, when I was growing up, had a big farm, and so, you know, we were, you know, we were always there, we'd help, you know, we were shucking corn and, you know, cutting okra and, you know, it was, you know, even as kids, it's, you were given a task and it was a hands-on experience and that was one of the things that we loved and so teaching is really, I think, a huge part of her legacy and just the love of teaching and teaching people to love what you do and, and that's something that even with my staff, you know, teaching them how to do the things that I know how to do and the things that she's taught me and teach them not only to know how to do it but to love what you're doing. Anybody that's creative just kind of gets bored easily and so you're always like okay we did that we're comfortable with it now what can we create next and so we're, we're always going to be coming up with you know new desserts and new dinner specials and uh, in fact we're rolling out we're doing a crawfish queso mac and cheese for a dinner special uh, that I, I think people will enjoy. So we're always going to be trying to, you know, develop the next thing that, uh, that people can look forward to. You call the restaurant, you can, you know, come in, sit down, have a meal. Uh, you can look at our menu on our website uh, and get in touch with us through there as well. Chef Paul Dupre with Elsie's Plate and Pie, and this is My Scene TV.